Hey guys, this video is way overdue, but that's because I just moved to residence and I just started class and I had frost week and everything, so I haven't been able to even get to a computer until now. Um, but aside from that, I couldn't even find the entry list because they didn't post a turkey one until yesterday. And it's actually started today, or slash yesterday. But aside from that, um, in Lake Placid, Joshua Ferris took the title pretty quickly. Um, he reminds me of Patrick Chan, actually, in the sense, because he has all these smooth and fast edges. Um, he looked a little bit rocky, but then, since he was just so much more awesome than the rest of the group, he took a 14-point lead over second place, Kenji Tanaka, and who, even though he fell out of triple axel, he did a decent program, but was only a point ahead of third place. And then, in the free, Joshua Ferris did a quad toe as well as a triple axel triple toe and he didn't need a perfect program to win this but he pretty much did and he won the free by 23 points and took the title like Yuna Kim would when she was around. Um, and then Kenji Tanaka was second still and he was out of breath by the end of it. He's kind of sloppy but I think it was a sophisticated program. It was created to be sophisticated so I think he just needs to refine it as the season goes on. And then in the woman, Satoko Miyahara, did a triple flutz, triple toe. Um, her jumps are kind of low, but she spins like, like a top. So I think to do better, she'll need to have higher jumps if she grows and or gains weight because of puberty. And I find that she does this deep knee bend just to be able to finish the jump. And I don't think that is really... Like, I guess you do bend your knee, but she's like only like... Like, she, like she makes it to the three rotation mark. But, like, she fights for it every single time. So I think she needs to fix that if she decide, if she grows, which she probably will because she's, like, tiny. Um, and in the free, she gained a more mature side. And then she had an under-rotated triple flutz. But aside from that, beat Angela Wang in the free by one point and, win, and won the title by about three points overall. Courtney Hicks was fourth out of the short but came second overall because in even though she had an under-rotated triple-triple in the free and as well as a single axle, um... And had a and lost her first combo in the short and didn't have much anything overly special I guess in her programs so I, she needs to work on that more and then in the pairs originally um, I thought that uh, Daka Nova and Deputant would have air to have taken the title but then they ended in second overall while Michael Marinero and Margaret Purdy the other way around usually they put guy girl first and then guy. <laughs> Good connection. They had a good clean short, but then I find that she looks a little bit too tall because she's like five five and he's five ten. And usually you need to be like a decent, like at least half a foot, to like seven in, seven eight inches, if not a foot taller or shorter than your partner. But they work well with each other, and they've improved. I I actually remember watching them back in two thousand nine in 2010, and they've improved a lot since then, and they took the title by 11 points when Dakanova and Debutant had some problems, and they, they had a rust battle sequence, and they had a bad throw jump, so they came second overall. It was actually marginally win. It was a marginal win for them, too. And then in dance, Kosinga and Morishkin had the original lead, and had good deep edges, but then it was Alexandra Aldridge and Daniel Eaton from the United States, who had a stronger short dance and they came in second after the short but then they were able to um they they were they were actually in third overall in junior, junior worlds but then the free the russians actually had a lower base value to the elements and they had a level one lift for the russians but then the u.s had solid elements and had good goes uh, except for one element, it was enough to take them the title by over one point. So that was pretty sweet. And then um, my predictions for the one in Turkey right now is Riju Hino and the men and Nathan Chen because he's kind of like the star right now for like prodigies and skating. Um, and, and the women, Elena Reynova, looks like a pretty easy win for her. But then Risa Soji, who was on the... Grand Prix Junior Grand Prix Final roster last year will be a good contender, so I'll be a little bit in fight for that too. Um, and then Dan Papadakis and Cicerone from France were the winners of the first Junior Grand Prix. 
but then Yakon Yadnovskaya and Mozgov from Russia, they, if I'm not mistaken, they were on the Junior Cup final roster. So they will be definitely competition. So it'll be basically the battle between them. And then in pairs, both these pairs are on the Junior Cup final roster. From China, Xiaoyu Yu and Yang Jin, as well as Brittany Simpson and Matthew Blackmer, China and USA respectively. It should be a, t a fight between the two of them as to who does the best. Um, and I will comment. I'm probably going to, I think I'm going to do it so it's like I can do the results and then do the predictions when I get the roster for the entry so I can actually make a prediction. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. But things have been crazy because university is retarded. But aside from that, I'll see you guys later.